മൊഡ്യൂൾ ട്വൻ്റി ത്രീ സിമ്പിൾ ലീനിയർ റിഗ്രഷൻ സെക്ഷൻ വൺ റിഗ്രഷൻ വേഴ്സസ് കോറലേഷൻ റിഗ്രഷൻ ഫിറ്റ്സ് എ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഫിറ്റ് ലൈൻ ത്രൂ ദ ഗ്രാഫ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡേറ്റ പോയിന്റ് സോ ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഡൂയിങ് യു നോ ടു വേരിയബിൾസ് ദെൻ യു ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ജനറേറ്റ് ലോഡ് ഓഫ് ഡേറ്റ പോയിന്റ് സോ ഈച്ച് വൺ കറസ്പോണ്ട് ടു ദ ടു മെഷർമെൻറ്റ്സ് നോ എക്സ് ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് വൈ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഫിറ്റ്സ് എ എ ലൈൻ വിച്ച് ഈസ് വെരി വെരി നിയർ ടു ഓൾ ദീസ് ഡേറ്റ പോയിന്റ് സോ ദറ്റ് ലൈൻ ഈസ് കോൾ the regression model or regression line regression fits the model to the data so it's kind of a model fitting so it's very important so we have already seen one of the model fitting test that is chi square test of test of goodness of the fit so this regression is uh, of course is quite similar this is actually model fitting so if you have a model model is usually an equation so whether your data is conforming to that equation or not that is what this uh, uh, reg- uh, regression test is all about now what does this mean simple linear re- regression what does a simple means simple means only one variable so if you are doing more than one variables at a time then you have to go for multiple regression that we are going to discuss in the next se- subsection uh, next section here so linear means that the test assumes that the variables are linearly associated linear does not mean a straight line though so you know in mathematics linear means the linear equation it could be curvy linear too or second order equation or the third order cubic equations of the polynomial uh, are all sort of linear model you know so it is not that it's always linear uh, you know as in the sense that it is uh, y equal to mx plus c that is a linear equation but still simple linear reg- regression is only about the linear changes not non linear you know the totally random kind of a non linear pattern will not be tested in simple non linear regression so however there are many biological models are not linear at all for example line weaver birth plot or uh, michelis menten equation or sigmoidal growth curve in the bacterial uh, you know growth curve uh, which is a sigmoidal shape it has got so uh, the the models are highly complicated on that lines so which can be explained by the matrix algebra and the calculus you know so for this you have to go with non linear regression so simple equations will not suffice um, the term regression is uh, you know it's a used by sir francis galton to refer the regression to the mean so pearson adopted this term regression to the mean means that so the initial value of the measurement could be extremely high so which then entirely you know it, it it comes to normalize after if you have a lot of samples you know so that is what so the regression to the mean or the average so initial value could be either too high or too low but after multiple measurement it comes to comes back to the the mean so that is what the regression to the mean means so we will explain that term later in one of the last modules now what is the difference between the regression and correlation correlation is used Uh, when x and y both are measured so you know you are measuring both x and y but in the case of regression x is controlled the values so these values are controlled as part of the experimental design only y is measured so that means that all variability happens uh, to be in the y direction not in the x direction because x is uh, you know it is uh, not random but it's decided you know as a control you know so regression fits a model to the data so model is a mathematical equation with set parameters in simple linear equation or simple linear regression the model is y equal to mx plus c where m is the slope and c is a y intercept model is an optimal best fit line so in correlation there is no goodness of fit no model and all our data you know there is no line you know best fit line in the case of correlation but in regression yes there is a line that is a model so in some set of data r squared the same set of data if you use it for the pearson's uh, correlation as well as simple linear regression r and r squared as well as the p values will all be identical but the thing is just like the both the chi square test so uh, you know how it is performed the equation is also same but the purpose is different here this one is regression is used for the model fitting while correlation is just to reveal the co, you know co variability of the two variables so in regression you have to you have a prior hypothesis about which variable is 
affecting the other variable or you know it, it is not a vice versa thing. So, if you intermix x and y uh, then you are going to get entirely different result in the case of uh, uh, regression but not in the case of correlation here. So, which is dependent variable and which is independent variable you already know it. So, y is the dependent variable y while x is the independent variable because x causes change in y. So, for example, percentage long chain uh, you know membrane fatty acid is an independent variable or x variable. So, uh, as it determines the insulin sensitivity y, but it is not vice versa that means the insulin sensitivity will not determine the percentage of the long chain fatty acid on skeletal muscle tissues. Regression deals with uh, you know the cause and effect and for predicting the unknown. So, it is used often for prediction you know in exploratory data analysis what will happen in future for example, weather prediction you know all these uh, 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 fields inside the artificial intelligence and machine learning use a lot of this regression uh, models. So, in correlation there is of course, there is no cause and effect or even for the there is no prediction uh, involved in the correlation. Let us see how regression can help. Uh, to predict the unknown a very simple example is the Bradford's assay for the assay of the proteins uh, you know. So, first of all let us make uh, you know uh, the, the first step here is to make a standard curve or the calibration curve. So, for that x is as I told you in any kind of regression x is not a measured one, but it is set as part of the experimental design these are the controls. So, we have uh, an array of control the first control is a negative control. So, negative control means that there is no protein at all in this uh, control. Then the first one is a positive control many positive control the first control is 10 uh, grams of the proteins then 20 grams then 30 grams and 40 grams like that you know and each of these controls you put in the cuvette and measure the absorbance level or the OD level and then you plot these points in a uh, in a scatter x y scatter and then do an appropriate regression method to generate a best fit line. So, the line is nothing but an equation you know that can predict the y value given the x or the vice versa. So, it can predict if you if you have the y value you can predict the x value. So, once you have this calibration curve the beauty is that you can predict the unknown for example, uh, you know you are you are getting a plasma sample from an unknown patient and you would like to know how much is the protein. So, all you have to do is to measure the OD that is absorbance level using a standard spectrophotometry and then whatever is the OD then just put a line across and the point where it is meeting the standard curve not the, the x value. So, x value is nothing but the protein. So, any OD can be converted into the protein by plugging into that equation or just drawing by the lining uh, into this uh, uh, you know calibration curve. So, that is one of the advantage of it. And this uh, regression curves are oftenly used in time series. So, the trend lines you know the trend line for example, this is a trend line from NOAA that is uh, uh, you know national uh, atmospheric and oceanic organization of the US. So, it is how the climate is changing. So, to make a long term predictions these regression methods are extremely important. You know as you can see in this diagram there is a uh, you know the, there is an increase trend for the global mean temperature in the recent years uh, that is by the anthropogenic effects. So, in summary regression fits the best line through the graph of data points in x y plotter points. Correlation is used when x and y are measured, but in the case of regression x is control values only y is measured. All the variability is assumed to be in the y direction. Regression fits the model to the data. The model is a mathematical equation which set parameters. In simple linear regression, uh, the model is y equal to mx plus c uh, where m is a slope and c is the y intercept. Thank you for watching. Thank you.